idea being an inventor, the commercial acumen of being a great inventor. He's done a deal with the world's biggest helmet manufacturer based in China. And um, he's come a long, long way to get this award. And I'm very, very proud of him. So please come up, Don Morgan. Well done. Investigating motorcycle accidents. <coughs> bicycle accidents. If you only have to go to one of these accidents, you'll understand. A young life destroyed. The whole idea is to improve technology to go on to the next level. And I always think if I could do that, I would. That was 27 years ago when I started that. And uh, I invented the cone head 17 years ago. And the only one thing that kept me motivated was I went to the morgue one day and I retrieved a little bone sample from the city morgue and I had to go back to my laboratory and apply a strain gauge to it. And I questioned myself, I thought, well, why should I do this? You know, I'm I'm interfering with the little life that I don't know of. And, um, but I kept on applying the strain gauge simply because I was a scientist and I felt that I had to improve helmets. And I always felt that if I could have an opportunity of improving the design of helmets, I, I would. And um, I had a group of students, this is probably many years after, I had a group of students in 1993 and I was explaining the um, a square-based pyramid to them. 
then a cone. And I said to them, cones are great shock absorbers. And at the time I was trying to say to myself, well, well many for, for nearly a whole year I was trying to say if I could only redirect the energy away from the brain laterally or sideways, I would have the answer. And it just came to me in those few words when I said to these students, I said, cones are great shock absorbers. Because if you press on a cone or compress a cone or crush a cone, you always look at a cone and you'll see that the, um, the outer surface is disrupted and the energy spread sideways and that was the key. There was one night that I said to my wife, I said, I'm going to walk away from it because no one was interested in it. The Australian government said, they, well, the Queensland government, which is a state in Australia, said to me they never thought it was worthy. And I said, that was my lowest stage in my life. And I said, I'm going to walk away from it. Next morning, my wife said to me, just do one more thing. Go online, find five helmet manufacturers, or half a dozen. Even then, I fell short. I only came up with five. I sent away five emails, very brief. I explained who I was, about the previous research I had done, and within half an hour, I received an email from Strategic Sports Limited, based in Hong Kong. I didn't know who they were, and they probably didn't know who I was. But the, it was something that probably stirred their minds. The fact that I, that I was a physicist, that I had a legitimate research project, which had Australian Transport Safety Bureau on it. That's probably the only thing that they probably thought, well, this guy must, might be on to something, all right? And from there, I built up a relationship with them and they saw the potential. <laughs> 17 years, well, 1993, I came up with the idea of the cone head, as I said to you before. It took me 17 years for that design to work its way into the marketplace. February of 2010, a helmet was released into the market. It was a dirt bike helmet. It was released in the market of the United States, Canada, and certain parts of Europe. And today, there's probably a dozen other brands That incorporate Kony technology. So, I just want to thank the Cheng family. See the potential of it, and my lovely family. who went without for many years. And I finally want to say to the community, the inventors, the inventors, all inventors, they're a unique breed you can't make them an inventor. I think they are born. They're different. And they're important to the future. 
I often say to my students that anyone who is invent innovative, who invent, are the connecting fabric to the future. And if you look through history and what Jeff has said tonight, you'll realise that. And I always say to the inventors out there, you're the one who's passionate. You're the one who can make it happen. There will be doors that will close. But there will be one day, and I know this, and I can speak this personally, it has happened to me, there will be one day that that door will have open. You're the one who's got passion. Never leave it. That never lose faith in them. Thank you.